Hello, I'm Jordan 97 and I'm going to be recording some missions of Heroes of the Pacific on the PlayStation 2. Every single mission is based on the actual World War II theater of the Pacific War. And right now I'm doing the Pearl Harbor mission, the Pearl Harbor theater of a surprise attack that the Japanese performed on the U.S. And what I'm going to be doing is taking off on a in a P-51D Mustang, which is my favorite World War II plane. I go to fighters when speed and agility count the most, as we say. I'll take the Warhawk. The Warhawk is what you're supposed to use because there's so many Warhawks there. No, no other popular planes back then in 1941. But so that I choose the Mustang, and then I. You are able to choose your own special weapons. I messed up right there because it, they give you an option of two 500-pound bombs or two 1,000-pound bombs. So I would choose two thousand, 1,000-pound two bombs so, because even though I don't use any bombs in this, I still want to use it because it seems cool. But So if you're dumb if you don't choose that or you need to realize it. If, if you Make sure you watch this. If, because if you're playing with 500 pound bombs with a D Mustang, choose 1,000 pound bombs. No offense. And it gets blurry, but I accidentally had it on autofocus, so, but it's still good. And I'm sitting right next to the camera and I'm uh, trying to be as quiet as I can with the controller because of uh, the, um, because of the controller, like the knobs make a lot of noise. So here's Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. The worst day America has ever had, I think. Maybe. Besides 9-11. This is the second most deadliest terrorist, atta terrorist attack in the U.S. So I shoot down these Zero fighters, or Zeeks, because they're trying to shoot down my the P-40 Warhawks that are on the ground still. And we need those Warhawks for the... Um, fight because there's so many Japanese planes we need some Warhawks to fight. It's not just me, even though I could take down all these planes. It's pretty easy actually. Even on ace, it's pretty easy. Well, unless they're bombers. But then I destroy these D3A1 vowels. It's kinda hard to say. I always say vowels as in like the vowels like A E I O U. But they're really called vowels. V A L S and then I make a huge dive towards the ground. But the valves are trying to destroy those hangars that I'm about to pass where that red control tower is. I normally shoot that down, shoot that control tower to smithereens, but I didn't want to, though. So, uh, right now I'm shooting at some, a squadron of valves, uh, that are not targets, but I just wanted to shoot at them to get kills. Then another squadron of zeros comes in and I shoot them down, but I didn't, I was coming in too fast, so I missed one, but I got one. So I destroy these B-5 and Kates, which are trying to shoot uh, shoot torpedoes at the ships. But um, either way, we couldn't stop them, and we got 18 ships damaged or destroyed. But then I go to the fuel tanks because I have to protect those from Zeros and Vals. Zero fighters and Val dive bombs. You can see all those parachutes from the planes that I've shot down, which is pretty funny. This thing has good graphics. You can see the oil from a sinking ship, which is pretty cool. And this plane starts, I don't know, one of the pl two planes starts shooting at me, but it didn't really matter. I didn't get shot down that good. I never even got shot down. Now you, you can see that ten. Uh, now watch. You see the uh, you see my speed and altitude over there, and that eight rockets thing, where the eight is. There's this little line on that green bar to the right. I mean left. You can see it see it move up and down. That's my speed, and I'm doing that so that I can have more time to shoot at it. And that plane just shot at me, but so the zero took a long time to shoot because I kept wobbling and stuff. But um. Right under the map, you can see a 20 and a 5 and a 1 right now. Those are my kills, and they're red. They're a Japanese flag because they're Japanese planes that I'm shooting down. But uh, I actually got my most kills on this mission when I recorded this. I got 34 kills. But, so. 
and just make a little turn and shoot this plane down. Come on, die! And then I zoom in because I know that that California ship, that ship right in front of you is going to blow up right now. That California just got hit by multiple torpedoes and she capsized. But in real life, I think she damaged. And that zero just passes me and I got so mad. Me dove and I dove forward. And I was that close to getting to hitting the ground. I wouldn't have survived that even in the game. But I managed to pull it off. That was my lowest upside down thing ever. But I got mad at that zero so I wanted to kill him good. Oh, wait, no, this is a different one. After the, after this one and the next one, something funny happens that I do to show off. This one I try and fire rockets at, I think. No, but watch. Do a little show off thing right before I shoot at it. A little, hang on, a little corkscrew maybe. And I just immediately shoot at it. That's really hard to do, just to get that scope land right on it. And I sh and I do a little corkscrew, and then I fire rockets at it. I think, yeah, I do. I fire rockets. I failed. I normally don't. I've gotten a twenty thousand foot rocket launch, and it hit a landing craft, and those things are small. That was with enough for a frog cat on Wake Island on the third mission. This is my last kill. I just saved all the 20 oil, all over 20 oil tanks. And then I turn because I think that it's not over, but it is. This is the USS Arizona, the pride of the U.S. battleship fleet. Its magazine blew up and 1,177 men died. And... As I said about the graphics, you can see all that oil just, like, splashing all over the water. And only 200-something people died. I mean, survived. I mean, died. That would have been amazing that that many people survived that. But I succeeded. As a stamp comes up, that says success right there. But So that was Pearl Harbor Surprise Attack, and I'll see you on Wake Island Combat Patrol next.